In this video, we are going to be comparing two capture cards at different price points and talk about which card is right for you. Coming up. Hey guys, my name is Hafiz and welcome to Roll Record. On this channel, I teach beginners how to make videos. I also share helpful tips and tools that can help you get started and go further in your video making journey. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Also, links and timestamps to everything that I mentioned in this video can be found in the description box down below. Today, we're talking about capture cards. So what is it and what does it do? The simple explanation would be you have a camera and you want to connect it to your computer to use it as a webcam. But the problem is if you connect the cables directly from the camera to the computer, it won't work. You need a capture card in the middle because it converts the video signal to something that the computer understands. Okay, cool. So why would someone want to do this? Well, more people are adopting video calls as a means to communicate and work. If you have a spare camera lying around like a GoPro, DSLR or mirrorless camera, why look like this when you can look like this on your video calls. Some examples of who can benefit from a setup like this. I'll give you three examples. Number one, business professionals who do lots of presentations remotely. Number two, an educator teaching an online course live. And number three, musicians who want to live stream their performance on YouTube. So back to the question, why would someone want to do this? The reason is simple, to achieve a better looking and higher quality video. Interestingly, because of this crazy demand, it gave birth to this guy. Someone from China manufactured so much of this that you can find it online with different names. Thing is, I got mine for about $12 and it's brandless. So begs the question, is it reliable? Is it good? Let's talk about that now. So brandless versus Campling. I'm breaking it down into four parts. The unboxing, physical attributes, software compatibility, and conclusion. For the unboxing, straight off the bat, I got to say the brandless is staying true to its name. It's a simple brandless white box that says HDMI video capture. Inside is the unit itself, along with some instructions. The Camplink on the other hand comes in a nicely made box and what's included is the Camplink unit itself and an extension cable. I'll explain in a bit why I think this is an important accessory. Next up, physical attributes. In terms of physical attributes, putting both cards side by side, you can see that the Camplink is slightly bigger, but brandless is slightly thicker. The Camplink is made up of plastic, while brandless is made up of metal. I don't have a weighing scale here, but due to the metal body, brandless does feel a little heavier than the Camplink. Looking at the body, you can see that they have both similar ports. On one end, you have a USB connector, and on the other is an input for HDMI. The USB side goes to your computer, while the HDMI would be coming from your camera. Camplink is USB 3.0, while brandless is USB 2.0. What it basically means is that the transfer rate for the Camplink is faster. Just a fun fact, USB 3.0 is 10 times faster than USB 2.0. I did mention earlier that the extension cable is an important accessory, which brandless does not include. This is because both cards take up quite a bit of space and that can mean it may block the port beside it. Having an extension cable solves that. Lastly, the Camplink has a light indicator to show connection status while brandless does not. Next up, software. When it comes to usage, both capture cards are plug and play which means you don't need to install drivers or software for them to work. I have no problems running them on video conferencing software such as Zoom, Skype, 
and streaming software like OBS, as it's being demonstrated here. The next part is what makes these two cards different. Are you ready? Okay, so with OBS, you can select what output resolution and frame rate the capture card supports. For CamLink, it accepts 4K input from the camera and is able to output the video at 4K. Brandless, on the other hand, accepts 4K from the camera, no problem, but cannot output to 4K. You only have two options, 1080p 30 and 720p 60. Conclusion When it comes to performance, let me just start by saying that the Camplink works with no issues. The real question is, how did Brandless, a $12 capture card, perform? I gotta say, surprisingly well. I faced no issues with freezing, lag or latency whatsoever and I've used it almost every day for about a month now. It just works and it works well. Aside from the two resolution that it offers as an output, for $12, there is no reason not to get this if you want to level up your video quality. Also with regards to 4K, just forget about it. Most people still use 1080p anyway and that's okay because it's really good enough. But if you do need 4K for whatever reason, then the Camplink would be better suited for you. Alright guys, hope you found this video useful. Please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more videos like this. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments box below and I'll be more than happy to try and answer them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one! See you!